So vector addition uh, and subtraction, um, a, a lot of ink has been spilled on how to add and subtract vectors, but I'm not going to examine the component form just yet. We're just going to look at the basic geometric form. So we write it out like this. We write a vector, we use a plus sign, b vector, and that'll give you another vector, right? And so what does this mean? Well, if you have some a vector over here, and you have some b vector over here, what you do is you move the b vector so this tail is to the tip of a. So you don't, don't, don't change the direction or the magnitude or the length or anything like that. Just move it over there. So that's going to be something like this. And then the c vector goes from the tail of a to the head of b. Okay? So it's pretty obvious how that works. Um, it's not that complicated. Um, vector subtraction is the same as adding the negative. So what do we mean by a negative vector? Well, that would be the vector that cancels the vector, um, so you get zero as a result. So B, negative B vector points the opposite direction. So if you add A vector plus negative B vector, let's try to draw an A vector again. This is A vector minus B vector. Um, uh, vector addition is commutative. That means that a vector plus b vector is the same as b vector plus a vector. Um, we can switch the order around, it doesn't matter. That's not true for everything. We're going to get to cross products and they're not commutative. Um, adding vectors is also associative, so a vector plus b vector, and then that plus c vector is the same as a vector plus b vector plus c vector. So it's associative. And otherwise, you know, most of the rules for vector addition you can play around and figure out for yourself. It's really not that complicated.